students how are you all doing i hope everyone is safe and healthy so today's topic in math is taken from class 3 and the topic is large numbers now let's move further and know what are the various topics that we will be covering under this chapter so we will be learning about four digit numbers number names place value and face value expanded form and successor and predecessor so let's move further and go through each one of the topic in detail let's start with four digit numbers what is a four digit number yes we know that four digit number a number which have four num digits in it earlier in our earlier grade we have studied up to three digit number so let's let me ask you few questions that is do we know that what is the greatest three digit number yes it's 999 that is 999 now when we add 1 to this that is when we add 1 to 999 what we get we get 1000 yes and this 1000 is a smallest four digit number it is a smallest four digit number and also it is equal to 10 Hundred, that is, one thousand can also be called as ten hundred. And one more important thing, that the one thousand is a four-digit number that we get when we add one to it. Now, continuation to this, what is the greatest four-digit number? The greatest four digit number is 9999 that is 9999 so we have seen here that a new place has been added to a number initially earlier we have studied that to the three digit numbers the places are of three digits only and now when we study about four digit number a new place is added to that number and what is that place that place is a thousand so therefore here 9999 can be called as 9999 99 Now let's try to understand how we are going to name these numbers name four digit numbers We are going to see few numbers for our understanding Now here we can see the first number is 2 4 5 6 How we are going to name it We are going to name it 2456 because the fourth place in a number is 1000 let's take one more example 8903 what is the name of this number it is 8903 Yes because the value at the tens place is 0 so it is 903 let's move on further after understanding what are four digit numbers and how do we name them 
Let's try to understand what is place value. How do we define a place value and how we can understand a place value of a four digit number. So with the picture given here on our right, we can see the place value of a digit is determined by the position of that digit in a number. We can say that place value of any digit in a number is the position or place of that digit in a number. Now in the picture on our right we can say that place is the location. It is the location of the digit in a number and value, value is the worth. It is a value is the worth in numerals of, of that digit. Therefore, it's called as place value. The location of a digit in a number and what value it have ir with respect to number is termed as place value. Now, we have four places in a four digit number. Till now we have understood this thing that there are four places in a four digit number. Likewise, there are three places in three digit numbers. Earlier we have studied and we have seen that there are three places in a three digit number. Similarly, there are four places in a four digit number. Now let's try to understand what are these four places. So the places are one starting from the right side. The first one is ones. Then comes our tens. Then hundred. And last one is the thousand. So the four places that we can see in a four digit number are ones, tens, thousand, hundred and thousand. Coming to our face value, we have seen and we have understood about place value. What is a place value? Let's try to understand what is a face value. So face value of a digit is the digit itself. That is, it doesn't have to do anything with the position or the place of a number of the digit in the number. It don't have to do anything with the position and place of a digit in a number. It is the exact face or the number or the digit itself. Then the face value of a digit always remains same. We have seen when it don't have to do anything with the position and a place of a digit in a number then the face value will always remain same irrespective of any position or any place it is there in a number. Let's see few examples of a four digit number and try to understand their face value and place value together. So here we have a number 3679. The face value of 3 is 3, whereas the place value of 3 is 3000. The face value of 6 is 6, whereas the place value of 6 is 600. The face value of 7 is 7. We have seen the number will be, the, uh, the digit will be itself. It won't change irrespective of any position or place in a number. So the face value of 7 is 7 and the place value of 7 is 7 tenths or 70. Similarly, the face value of 9 is 9 and the place value of 9 is 9 once. I hope we were able to understand till here. Starting with the expanded form, 
What is an expanded form? We all have studied in our earlier classes about three digits number. We have in our earlier classes we have studied about the number till three places that is till hundred ones tens and hundred in this section or in this class we will be learning about the another place value or another number at a new place that is thousand and hence therefore this chapter is termed as large numbers now expanded form if we have to define what is expanded form then we can say that it is a way to write the number as the sum of a place value of its digits in order whenever we are writing a number as a sum of the place value of individual digits in a number then this is termed as expanded form so as i told you earlier in this grade we will be studying about four digits number so if we have a number 1947 what is 1947 it is 1947 yes it is the year in which india got independence so what will be the expanded form of this 1947 if we have to write it it will be 1000 1 thousand plus the place value of 9 is 100 that is 900 plus the place value of 4 is 10 so it will be 40 and plus 7 the place value of 7 is 1 so it is 1947 so we have seen here how we have expanded the form we have expanded it by adding the number or calculating the sum of the place value of its digits in the order i hope it's clear now let's move on further so the next topic that we will be covering is successor and predecessor what is successor successor the number that comes just after a given number is called as successor that is whenever we add one to a given number the answer that we get is successor of that number for example successor of one is two because when we add one to one we get two and the successor of 99 is 100 why because when we add 1 to 99 it's 100 then the successor of 1234 is 1235 why because when we add 1 to 1 2 3 4 we get the answer as 1 2 3 5 so this is all about successor now understanding about the predecessor the number that comes just before a given number is called as the predecessor of that number. That is, whenever we subtract 1 from a given number, then the answer that we get or the difference that we get, it is predecessor. Now, let's see through the example. Let's try to understand. The predecessor of 2 is 1. When we subtract 2, 1 from 2 we get 1 the predecessor of 15 is 14 why when we subtract 1 from 15 we get 14 and the predecessor of 100 is 99 when we subtract 1 from 100 we get 99 it's so simple so successor is when we add 1 to a given number we get successor and predecessor when we subtract 1 from a given number it is predecessor so now let's do the quick recap of what all things we have learned today we got to know about four digit numbers we also understood how to name any given number 
we understood about place value and face value and have the difference between them we also understood and studied about expanded form of four digit numbers and last but not the least we also have studied about successor and predecessor so this is a small home assignment which is related to the topic that we have covered today and it is an easy one hope you are you will be able to do it so that's all for the day i hope you have enjoyed the video so till we meet next take good care of yourself and do stay at home stay safe thank you